Hello. So I kind of just looked over to my Skype monitor and was like, there's really no call yet? Ah. Well, it's usually either you or that. Uh, yes. <laughs> I mean, it's normally it's someone... either you or Manikai hosting the call. Yeah, but it's normally it's normally someone like Goga preemptively starting it, or Manikai preemptively starting it, then we have to swap who's running. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. My impression of what Manakai's news was is that, uh, basically he's not going to be of any help to you guys at all this session. <laughs> He'll be too busy fighting his laptop. He'll be too busy wrangling with technical issues, so I, I, I hope you're ready to be down to four play. <laughs> well. Hmm. We didn't need those four salvos, did we? He used one of those already. He only had, like, one more. But then we'll be fine. Won't we? Maybe. Yes, yes. I like your positive attitude. Yes. That's the spirit. We'll be you, fine, maybe. You can do this? <laughs> you can win? Yes, 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 yes. I, I, I had a simply positive attitude when when I got uh because so, on Sunday and Monday I was basically without an internet connection for two days straight because I was out basically just not at home for the entire time. But my phone told me, Oh, Grimith has sent me a message, a link to um Google Docs, huh, huh. And then before I get a chance to look at that, because my phone doesn't do Google Docs, I see a message saying, a you know, like Leon has basically caused a large explosion. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> you didn't cause a large explosion. That's Good. not that's not what it basically said. That is no, no. That is that is misparaphrasing it. Yes, yes, it was. A large windstorm, at least. I'm wondering if. Tempest would be able to figure out the sort of probably no. being outside somewhere and just all of a sudden boom like hmm 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 I love how I tried to derail qu Griff's query by just saying no and he kept going through it anyway <laughs> <laughs> wonder if Tempest would be able to figure out no <laughs> it's like just suddenly just sitting there boom see the dog agrees That's with normal. me no That guy's not even sending a message about how I can't connect to the Skype call because of reasons. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to be away eating them. Maybe it's because of raisins and he's eating them. No. Maybe the laptop is just like, I'm sorry, Manakai, I can't let you do that. Like a red light starts glowing from it. <laughs> That's when you tell that laptop, Happy birthday to the ground! I don't think that would fix his issues, though. Sure. <laughs> as satisfying as it would be. No, no, it would fix the issues. It just would permanently fix those issues. Like, there's no undo button in real life. I almost said IRL, and then I wanted to stab myself in the eye. <laughs> Hello? Yay! Hello. Do you hear me? No. Yep. No! <laughs> <laughs> that's totally uh, well, not then why then something's people... wrong uh... that's totally not why people said yay or anything he probably isn't hearing us I guess I'm sure he does yeah <clears throat> is my is my sound alright yeah. for now yes Manica. okay Manica, Manica. That's good. Apparently, Manica. <laughs> Grimace the Manicon. Let's see what this here does. Uh, I'm sure I'll be fine. <clears throat> Yeah, I got a new laptop, for once. Yay! That, that's that's what you wrote in the chat log. So, and I it's using Windows 8, which I have never used before. 
I like how you're saying a new laptop with Windows 8 given, you know, the prevalence of Windows 10, you know. It's updating to that, but I told it not to do it because it just finished downloading it. Hmm. So. So, um. <laughs> this wasn't really the time for that. <laughs> Well, I don't know where anything is, and if I click the Windows button, it turns into like some sort of amalgamation. Yes, and that's what that's thing. when you have to like type in things to like quickly search for like, them. This doesn't work. This is yeah, yeah, I don't like the new one. <laughs> well, well, it's not the new one. The new one's now Windows 10. Griff, he's talking about Windows 8. Did they skip nine. Yep, they skip nine. We we don't talk about nine. <laughs> All right, uh, us in the Windows producing group. <laughs> No, no, just we, as in not a royal we, an all-inclusive we. I, oh, fuck's sake, I just had a look at my Windows 10, and there's a little Twitter thing, and I was like, what the fuck? I click on it, and it, it, it's Kim Kardashian naked. I, I, I don't know. Apparently, <laughs> my Windows 10 is deciding to send me pop porn. I don't know. I mean, okay. we could get we could get into the ethical debate about whether seeing Kim Kardashian is really pornography, but uh, I suppose we can save that for another time. And I was about to say that I don't quite trust Windows 10 yet, but I don't think I need to make that <laughs> point anymore. Well, just don't have, like, a Twitter button you can click. <laughs> I, I was about to unpin it, and then it just sort of scrolled through, and I went, because it's tiny, it's like a tiny little thing, I went, was that a naked person? Click. Yes. Yes, it was a naked person. Unpin. Uh... <laughs> I like how you have to like do like a double take and confirm that. I'm sure I'm sure she's trending for reasons. <laughs> so calm down. Twitter is like, please don't unpin me here. I have some porn. <laughs> <laughs> Google has shared your search history. <laughs> Wait, One of the what? first things I done, I went through all of those fucking settings. Off, 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 yes, off, yes. Off, when, off. I when when you know, I was going to install Windows 10, I was like. Do you want us to track your location at all times? I was like, nah, I'm good. Hey, you Do you want us IP to bring your, your information on and and like IP to other service providers who might have interesting offers for you? I'm like, no, no, I don't want that. Do you want to link up to your Xbox? No. Uh -uh. That's ridiculous. Do you want to help build the wall separating Denmark from Germany? Yes. Oh, I see what you did there, government. <laughs> Catch me that easily. <laughs> of course I will. By clicking, I agree. You agree to... <laughs> you agree to the great divide. Remember to practice your fascist hand gestures before more every morning. I've got my fascist hand gesture repertoire all updated. Good. Good. Yes. Yes. Now the bad people can't get me. All right. Uh, come one, come all, for the most exciting event to happen since the last time it happened. Thirteenth Age. It is now the sixteenth of Fireseek. You're near the end of the most brutal winter in memory. Only now are temperatures starting to stay above freezing during the day. You've based yourselves in the guest rooms of the Arcane College, and had a small opportunity to explore Newport on your own. Did any of you do something interesting with your time? Something you would have told the other characters, or something they would have seen? Well, uh, Torhurm would have been working to help uh, rebuild pieces of the Arcane College, because that's sort of what he is good at. He's not the only shaper on the premises, and his talents are going to be are, are going to be used. Why it would almost it would take almost as long to repair the arcane college as it would to repel the undersea invaders. No, no, the undersea. Invaders. It's a pretty big <laughs> <No>. <laughs> college they have there. It is. Uh, it is not that vast, and it will not take so long. But uh, it's uh, pretty catastrophic what transpired. Uh, Fogus was uh, contacted by a former associate in his uh, the order that he was in prior, and um, he told him some interesting things about the uh, the necromancer in the uh, Death's Hand group, um, and also that they recently went to Krell to uh, the Living Dungeon there to do something. Ah, huh, did they? I yeah, don't they recall. Did. I don't recall him saying that they recently went there. 
You didn't? I'm pretty sure you did. Oh, let's see here. I suppose he did say that. There you go! That's yeah. what happened. <laughs> that's, that's very, that is quite an interesting um, thing to hear, considering that, um, well, Leon, other than, well, you all finding out from, you know, probably not even Leon, but you know, the large commotion of the windstorm created on the 15th. <laughs> Um, Leon will inform you all, well, he tried communing with the dead. How did that work out? To see what, ex it worked exceptionally well, actually better than expected. Why? Yup, better than expected. Far better than expected. Mm -hmm. Did you summon a lich? No, I did, I, I, did, I did have multiple Did you voices. summon two liches? <laughs> no, I did summon a unknown number of spirits into my head though, which were fun to work with. It felt like no number of spirits. Um, however, from what I could tell, um, well, I kind of they were with what happened with the orb. You know, they apparently their plans were too great for them, and well, of course, it went. You know, their failures have caused it to go wrong, and the orb vanished. But well, it's difficult to make sense of exactly what the spirits were trying to say. Some things are clear. That the orb has gone back to the Midland Sea, and from what their clue says, possibly back to the, to the living dungeon of Creel. It may also be the cause for some of the weakening of the wards. Some, possibly. This is speculation, but from what you know, I'm being told, it's a possible outcome. Huh. So that's certainly a thing. Yeah, that sucks. I thought you would want to know that, yeah, that's possibly a thing that just happened. And we might want to, like, stop anyone else from getting it because we might want to get it back and, like, stop this madness. I get the distinct feeling that uh, if we ever go back to see Creel, we may need to put an end to that dungeon. Potentially. But I cannot confirm. Anyway, anyone else done anything interesting? Tempest will just sort of pull out a sealed up wax sealed scroll and just sort of weave it in there. You know, I did tell you I'd try and get some goosey gossip on Thurl. Look at what I got. Gossip on a scroll. <laughs> no, no, I've got a contact. Someone we may be able to use, someone. Not had a look through it, but uh, it's got a reliable source as he taps the wax seal in the scroll. Do you know how good it is to be around similar people? Do you know how difficult it is to try and converse somewhere you don't have any connections? That's Drakenol. Here! Oh, here you've got respectable thieves. Not thieves that'll eat your arm. Why are you giving me those looks? Because you have a scroll with information that you haven't looked at yet. Well, you know, I thought it was up for opportunity just to sort of share it with people. Hmm. I pulled a few favors, saw what I could get. I was told a servant or one of Thurl's many, many individuals owes a few favours, of which I've been allowed to cash in on them. Tempest will split the wax seal and underscroll it. Uh, it is a confirmed notice that you are to hand to Tim the manservant, so that he knows that he owes you this thing to pay off See? a debt. See? Tim the manservant. Why are you all still looking at me like that? I mean, it's it, certainly useful. This is a respectable document. He throws it away back into... He's not throwing it, stashes it away back in his cloak. Disrespect, Ramiro. I think the less you tell us, the better. I think I told you plenty! Alright. 
Thomas do anything exciting? Did he, like, try to go fishing or what? Uh, he, he probably tried to organize this and that, but I don't think there would have been anything worth of mention. I suppose the worst thing he had to do was pin some sort of, like, official-looking document so that he could, like, begin the process of, uh, maybe getting some guards lended to the group for a day. For a raid on a bar. Probably what his time was spent doing. Alright. Let's see here. The session begins mid-morning with the arrival of eight city guards at the Arcane College. Da -da -da -da. Their availability requested by you for a raid on a bar in the Haven. The sentries come in a variety of flavors. <clears throat> you have, uh... Serious looking guard, and he's there, and then more serious looking guard, and uh, <laughs> serious guard with like a tooth infection, and then like serious guard with uh, like a unibrow that he constantly tries to keep clear, and then serious guard here with strikingly bad breath, and serious guard with a little bit of a, a, a limp, and a serious guard who is. Annoyingly optimistic. Hey guys, we're gonna win! <laughs> They're all well equipped and appear to have some backbone. Their leader, a humorless man by the name of Graham Sten, awaits your direction with a modicum of patience. I'm, I'm wondering if Graham, whenever the, the, <laughs> the really optimistic one, you just see his eye twitch, the humor sucked out of him by the optimistic fool. <laughs> Yeah, that's the look that I imagine you've given me many times, Kermit. Uh... <laughs> this is the part where you players do things. And then we go forward with the story. All right. I think our plan is pretty straight straightforward. Go there and arrest everyone. Although I did expect or hope for more than eight people, I suppose. Ah, uh, we can take it on ourselves. I mean, it's a it's a it's a tavern, right? It's not it, like it's a huge a, yeah, it's, it's underground a, complex yeah. of crime. Yes, it's a it's a bar. Yeah, as we know. in the Haven, the poorest district of Newport. He <laughs> said they're the finest men they have. Well, it's really just a question of numbers. If it's full of patrons that we want to arrest, then some are going to get away because one person cannot chase more than one. Well, do they have bows? Uh, depends on how many entrances there are. They, uh, are. they they are all equipped with javelins. Good. Are we there so, to so if someone or tries to get them? away, those guys will draw the the fire. If they all run for it, well. E yes, yes, Leon. Uh, you were kept up late by a very, very cross Lord Taraptus, but uh, you're able to assist just fine. Okay, how's double check? <laughs> Uh, the question is, do we want to do the raid, like, in the morning, I, I guess it is now? Yes, it's or, currently mid-morning. Or would it make more sense to do it in the actual, like, evening hours when there's actually people who would be in a tavern? If I was to do a, a super secret, secret meeting in a tavern, <laughs> I would do it in, like, the evening hours. Where more people but, could but, hear you? No, where, where there's enough people to basically hide in plain sight. And drown out the sound. That makes sense, I suppose. Besides, it won't be just like those eight guys. You can use John Aratus. I mean, you have him. Yeah. He didn't leave you guys. Not gonna do. We've also got Mr. Dead's man. Yeah, the death speaker politely suggests that uh, if he were to come along with you, he'd stick out worse than Fargus. <laughs> that says something. That actually says something. That, yeah, that's saying a lot, actually. I don't think he would. And uh, he, uh, he, he will mention that given all of the uh, spirits that still need to be put to rest here at uh, the explosion site, uh, he thinks his talents are better suited at the Arcane College. At least better suited than heading to a bar in the Haven 
where he's going to stick out given his talents <clears throat> and appearance. That makes sense. Well, I would then suggest we wait until like five, six in the evening. Surround the place as much as we can with us and them, and then just you, see you who just we mean, catch. Like, literally, we're just all going to stand around in a circle to six. <laughs> well, we won't go there once it actually comes close to the time. Not go there now and stand there in a circle <laughs> for like hours. <laughs> Oh dear. Can I click the convenient wait button? <laughs> <laughs> the... I mean, we, we could spend the hours until the evening actually just observing the place. Go into rest face and... The, uh, the, the incredibly serious looking constable says, So, we meet there at six then? Evening? We can do that. You want us to stand around there the entire time? We can do that, too. I think it's uh, fine to uh, meet. Yes, that's meet, then. Makes no sense to show our presence. Very well. Looks at the uh, the guards who are with him, and they all fucking, like, walk off. Uh, presumably to do other guard things until uh, the time is right. Guardly duties. So, the optimistic well, one cheers. We're gonna put an end to crime today. <laughs> uh, I will I mean, backhand you, true. Jeffries. By, by, by ending tempest, yes. Uh, and then there's Unibrow guy. I genuinely thought for a moment sheet that you actually just got that picture and you just drew a paint line across the eyebrows. No, it's it's better. <laughs> but yeah, I, I guess unless you guys have anything else we could do in the time we wait, I would suggest we just kind of stay in a, in a shadowy street corner and, and see what actually goes on in the tavern. Yeah, maybe. So preferably in a way that makes it... I mean, yeah. It'd be about, you'd be waiting there about seven hours until uh, 6 p.m. Looks to Fargus and... Yeah, as long as none of us tries to imitate the human torch, we should be able to at least be somewhat subtle. Mm. Maybe. John says, my, my forgivings, but uh, you all, I think, from my understanding, the Haven is a poor district. You five don't look as if you're suffering that much. You walk and stand around with what you've got on, and... You're gonna wait there for Everybody seven hours, they'll this. notice you. That's true. All eyes turn towards John. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you just volunteered yourself. I, wait, wait, what? <laughs> I, well, I, if, if that's what you like, I, I can. I don't have a problem with it. It's just merely an advisory that just standing around on street corners for six, seven hours for you know, most of the waking day is a bad idea. At the very least, like, walk around, move, maybe even go into the bar for a bit, but... Uh, like, maybe get there, like, a half hour early, hour early, but not just be there the entire time. I'm just a... I was just a guardsman, what do I know? Why are you still looking at me like that? I think I'll be looking at Thomas, wondering why Thomas didn't have these ideas. He's a guardsman. <laughs> well, I, I was out of character... <laughs> Paraf paraphrasing. Of, of course it makes sense to... Of course it makes no sense to just stand in one place for a couple of hours. <laughs> but you know, just, just scouting out the place, sure. If, if that involves going in there, if we think we can do that without attracting attention, which might be possible. John <laughs> Although I, I don't think we, we can actually not attract attention. If entering parties are a thing, I, my understanding is that you've been there once before, so... Uh... It just the, the the wealth you've got on you, and how well fed you are, and your mere appearance suggests that you're beyond who probably sits around in a bar in a poor district. Hmm. 
And the options are we could either cash in on some of the information that we've got, have a look around, uh, see what we can do, or spend the time getting to know each other, do a little bit of shopping if you're needing any more time to do that. Tempest will say, smiling. Uh, I don't mind the idea of heading over a bit earlier than anticipated, getting an idea of it, and heck, even getting an idea of who's going to be going into the bar as a kind of a couple of the patrons. Maybe seeing if there's a back door would be good. You've been there before. Of course there's a back door. They they cart in and out like foodstuffs and alcohol through that. All right. I imagine our guardsmen are going to have to play surround. And I imagined we would go in... Once we had them in place, we would enter ourselves and see what sort of rockers we would end up making. They, of course, would be told that if something starts, they are to move in and arrest, you know, arrest everybody for questioning. And if, uh, you know, basically we will, we will give a sign, which will likely be anything really loud. <laughs> if trouble starts, help. Or at least, you know, it'll also let them see who sneaks out and, and skips the scene first. And make sure to get that guy. Yeah. I mean, we don't have to watch the place. Just seven hours or so of watching isn't going to make or break this operation. But I do think that we should probably not enter the tavern too early. Because if we get recognized, we and will. people start fleeing without the guards in place, then they are just gone. Yeah, exactly. We will be recognized, however. <coughs> We're not so going to capture everyone, be. though. Right? Very unlikely we'll capture everyone. We'll see. John says, you don't need to try to capture everyone, just the important-looking ones. And the ones who are really, really, really trying hard not to look important. Perhaps you would do the favor of taking a round around it, seeming conspicuous as much as you can in the haven. Do you think you would be safe? John, John looks down at him and says, I think I can handle myself. All right, then. I, I would have no problem with letting you do that. Then. John shrugs and says, I'll take a walk there now and let you know what I find. All right. John, uh gathers his equipment and goes walking off towards the haven. That's that for scouting. Now, uh, anything else we should do today? Anything we need to do? You said we had something on this, uh, thrill? I have some favors I can cash in. See if we could get maybe let into one of the houses when there's a party taking place. Get in, lay in the back door, see if we can find anything in the studies, anything that uh, leads to bag documents. It's not huge, but, you know, someone that owes a few favours is worth his weight in gold. <laughs> sure. Sure. There's, of course, also the question of the... Uh, we could go and spend the day, if nothing else... Uh, see if we can find out anything about the uh, mercenaries in the Heights. We should be able to get in there, taking a look around. Maybe at least finding out where they live so we can find it again. Hmm. Might do that. They're probably not there not right now, though. Might be good for us, actually. I don't plan to run into them, but uh, knowing where things are, there seem to be a problem in Dragon Hall. I really don't have the symbol up here. Even yes. if it would be much easier to find things. Yes. We do have some it time is something anyway. we can do. So not waste our time. No. So take a uh, stroll around the heights then. Yes, yeah, see if we can find their place. Well, especially if we've got seven hours. That's a lot of time to have a wee nosy. Oh, we can always go back and do it, other things it, as well. It, I will note that it will be a little difficult for John to meet up with you and tell you what he knows. That's true. That's true. We could, of course, just stay here. There's still lots of work I could help out with. 
Okay. Well, you can easily sort of fast forward time then, take the time just to catch up on little tidbits, I guess, then. Sure. sure. We'll go back to work then. Enjoy it. Even if it is sad to see the destruction. Taking through the rubble. Yes, it will be a multi month project uh, before the building can be uh, fully restored, and even then, there's going to be the specter of death hanging over that wing. Mm. 